Hey Clashers, the second birthday challenge is in the game and we already get a sneak peek for the new event troops and the new equipment because all of that will be used in this challenge. But if you want to buy anything from the in-game shop or for example buy the new gold pass, make sure to support your favorite content creator out there with using their creator code. If you want to support me, it is creator code ITSU and I really really appreciate that. But now let's dive into the plan of this challenge and how you can take that easily out and as well a little bit how those new event troops work but first off we're starting with the warden earthquake on the emoji arch tower warden then right behind and we should get a huge fireball with a lot of value the warden is going to take down the entire bottom side and then we're going to enter with the queen and her new equipment the golem and the ground event troops yes we have ground and air event troops from the far right side and finish things off with the air event troop from the top side. But let's do this step by step. First off, the earthquake, right on the middle of the Mojarch Tower, and then the air warden. Make sure you're setting the warden on air, it's really important. And then the air warden right on this tree on the far right side to take everything else out. But start with the earthquake and then with the warden, so it gives you just some free time, so you don't have to rush. Earthquake is in, Warden as well, and now you're waiting. Wait until the Merch Cannon is gone, and then use the Warden ability for a huge fireball. After that, you have to get the Invisibility spell ready, because you want to get one shot from the Scatter, and then turn your Warden Invisibility, uh, turn it invisible. At this point, just like one, two, three, and four, and then deploy the next Invisibility spell. Always count to four, and that's pretty much the timing you have to do to turn your Warden Invisible non-stop, and get the entire bottom side. This is then the next step for you. Next step is going to be the golem, then the event troops and the queen behind to take down the entire right side to make sure that you're setting the base up for the air event troops. Which means we are in, they're taking all of this out. Imagine the ground event troop kind of like a super giant. That's pretty much how they overall work. And as well, they have multiplier damage to walls, which makes sure that you can get into the base really quick. As soon as the headhunters are close to a queen, deploy the poison and use her ability. This is using then the new equipment, which means you're spawning two clones of Naracha Queen, and our queen is turning invisible a little bit for just a, a short time. If you want to know all of the exact numbers, make sure that you're coming tomorrow back, because the event is just around the corner. But let's get back to the challenge. We're now waiting for our troops pretty much to take down the town hall. And with the frozen arrow as well on top of that, they're taking that out really quick. Now the air troops from the top side, all of those witches in, with the right right behind, and a freeze for all of those single phone towers and the skeleton spell for the defending warden. That's pretty much it. They're going to take down the entire village really easily. They are really, really strong event troops, and they should make this challenge quite relaxing to accomplish. But as I said earlier, if you want to make sure that you're knowing exactly what those new event troops, the new equipment are going to do, and as well how strong I feel like they, are, they will be, make sure that you're coming back tomorrow and make sure that you're following this channel to always stay up to date when there's anything happening around in Clash of Clans. That's pretty much how you can easily complete the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next Clash video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.